Good one day is Thursday, October 19th, 2023. Jump date for Friday the 20th. All right, let's go. With no setups again tonight, as I was beginning to record, I began to think that, boy, this market is certainly a less is more market. The market was all over the place today, and then obviously it, it finally found its way lower. Anyway, it was nice to have a couple shorts in here. Let's not kiss each other just yet because obviously that cuts both ways. But it did help out a little today, so this helped to smooth things out a little bit. I think we were slightly in a plus column by the end of the day. Anyway, go ahead and bump your stop down on KBH. And then if ELF begins to bang out some new lows, we'll start trailing that stop lower on it. There's really not much to look at. And when the market begins to implode like this, or goes one, one direction, I should say, either up or down, then you need the opposite direction to start setting up pullbacks. So a couple of shorts in here. This one's a little too thin to short, but I just want to kind of show you what's happening in the energies in spite of them flirting with all-time highs. There are some selected areas such as coal or individual coal stocks. And then quite a few individual energies that are looking toppy in here. This one's too thin to short, so do not take this as a potential short. I just want to kind of show you what's happening. ELF, we're obviously short already, but it looks, it looks like it's in trouble in here. Uh, PWR, beginning to break down, but still looks like it has a long ways to go. Now, again, as I said recently, it does have some support down below. And I did take an S&G position here just to make a point about options. And I'll talk about that in tonight's week of charts. If you have time, we'd love to see you there. Let's take a look at portfolio. And then we'll take a look at the overall market and some sector action. LFMD hanging in there, looking pretty darn good. Kind of an orderly correction. Knock on wood. So far, so good there. Flatsville, up two cents. Well, I'll take two cents on a day like today. KNF, continue to come back in. Under your stops, just in case. Bit of a bummer. We're back in this soup or range, however you want to call it. But let's just continue to hang on to that trailing stop and see what happens. It might uh, get its act together once again. KBH, banging out some new lows, a little bit of vigor. We're going to bump the stop down on that one. We're in longer term trend following mode on that one. ELF, uh, getting thwarted right around that 30 EMA recently, beginning to sell off a bit. Looks like it's still in lots of trouble. Let's take a look at the overall market and do some uh, drill down to some sector action. Just real quick, uh, Seam was asking me about uh, looking at some of the ETFs versus the sector. So I'm going to slowly incorporate some of these into what I'm doing for the nightly analysis. But obviously, if something gets set up in one of these uh, media general groups, then you can take a look at something like Something like the equivalent SMH, if you're looking to trade some uh, semiconductors, for instance, if you're looking to trade that area. Anyway, let me just get uh, done with the analysis, and I'm going to slowly work some of those in over time. Uh, S&P 500 getting whacked in here fairly hard, down a little more than three quarters of a percent. Again, it got thwarted at that 30 EMA, just couldn't get right, couldn't get through it. Now we have one bar of Landry Light below. I'm going to flesh all this out in a lot more detail tonight, so just an FYI on that. But still looking really toppy in here, beginning to sell off out of kind of an inverted cup and handle pattern. Same sort of pattern happening in the NASDAQ composite, kind of an inverted cup and handle to recent head and shoulders and now becoming a complex head and shoulder pattern. It has been saying quite a bit. Toppy, no matter how you call it. Let's take a look at the Rusty. Rusty banging out some new lows in here, down over 1.5%. What's scary with the Rusty is you back it way out. It's got a long ways to go without any support, so that's kind of scary. Let's not think about that just yet, but if we take out the lows, then I think we're forced to pretend, uh, forced to pay attention to what's happening there. No place to run, no place to hide other than gold, but uh, bonds obviously banging out new lows with vigor. This is, this is ugly, down 2% today. As you know, bonds down, rates up, so this is not a pretty situation. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ composite selling out fairly hard. Oh, already did that. Sorry about that. Gold is what I wanted to take a look at. Gold actually beginning to get a bid in here, going up fairly sharply. So that's good to see some flight to safety. I wouldn't hang my hat just on that, especially with everything going on in the world. But it is good to see at least one asset class moving higher. And who knows, we might start seeing some setups there soon. As you go through the sectors, other than the energies, it's kind of ugly out there. You can see energies barely got back to their old highs. They're just kind of hanging around there, down a little today. You know me, I sure like to see some serious follow through to the upside and have them not look back for a while. You know the routine though, here it comes one day at a time. The list of sectors and downtrends, really too many to go through, but there's foods, obviously, financial services, banging out new lows. Let's take a look at XLF. It'll take me a little while to get used to doing this, but I'll be there. I promise I'll incorporate more of these in 
over time. You can see financials, the XLF breaking down in here. Let's take a look at some other areas. Let's take a look at drugs. Drugs got really whacked today. They tried to retrace back to the old highs. This is a gatekeeper type of pattern where you stall out short of the prior lows. This is the closest thing to reversal that I will trade, but you can see they got hit fairly hard in here. Biotechnology getting whacked too. It got thwarted recently at that 30 EMA. Very important to pay attention at 30 EMA, especially at this juncture on uh, as the possible resistance on the upside. Health services selling off fairly hard in here, remaining in a pretty serious downtrend. Material construction obviously breaking down. Lots of home builders broke down today. Manufacturing looking pretty ugly in here, coming down here to test this support. So there's no need to go through many more, but you kind of get the idea. Today was a pretty ugly day. For the most part, no place to run, no place to hide. And even the energies, which have been doing well, there's not a whole lot of setups to the upside that are meaningful there. So let's just sit tight and let it shake out. And again, I really think right now, less is more. Everybody have a great night if you can't make it to the show. And uh, if you can, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much.